Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be looking at lofting again. Now, this isn't just like a typical lofting. I want to actually make like a loft that goes up and then goes in a different direction like this way. So I want it to go like up here, out, and then up a little bit, and then I want it to rotate and go this way. So let's see how we can do that. Now, what we're going to do is create a sketch on this plane right here. This doesn't really represent anything right now because um, I, I was actually making a bike rack for a school project um, and I just happened to come up upon this problem of like trying to figure out how I can actually achieve this. Um, so I decided to make a video about it. So let's say uh, we go like this and we have this is like our little uh, section right here. Now we want to connect this to something that is perpendicular to it, so like going this way. So what I'm going to do is create an offset plane right here of this one from two object, and I'm going to select that point. Now I'm going to create another sketch on that offset plane. I'm going to press P to project the geometry there and that point, and I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to draw another set of some arcs. So we're going to go down to here and draw some arcs. Then this one I want to go like this, and then have a line that goes out here. So let's make this pair, uh, horizontal, actually. Uh, so we're going to go to this horizontal vertical constraint. And now we are going to then make this tangent to it. Here we go. And make this one tangent to this one. So that it has a nice, smooth, uniform-looking flow. So that's what it's going to look like. So overall, this is what our path looks like. It goes up here, then down, then up, and then it goes 90 degrees over to this way. Now, let's say I want a loft from this end to that end. So let's create a sketch on this end real quick. Um, and it'll just be a circle, let's say 20 millimeters. And we'll finish that sketch. Now, I want to connect it to, let's say, this end and just have it go along this entire path. All right, so let's construct a plane along path and just select this end real quick. And then we're going to create a sketch on here as well. So now we're going to go 20 millimeters and we're going to finish our sketch. So you know already that you can use a path to, for as like a center line or a, a rail for the uh, loft to follow. However, uh, because this is two different sketches, even though they are connected technically, um, it will not work. So you'll, you'll see what happens. Let's go to loft here. We can select this profile and then we can select this profile. Now if we want a center line here, you see it only allows us to choose one. We can't just like shift click and choose both. It will give that error here. So how do we get around this? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Let's construct one more plane along path and let's just get it up to that point of intersection. We're going to draw one more circle here and we'll just do another 20 millimeter circle. And now what we're going to do is loft from here to here along this path and then loft from here to there along that path. So we will go here and let's create a loft. We'll go click this one to this one, center line here. And then we're going to press OK and we'll do one more loft from this surface to this surface. And again, use a center line on there. And just like that, we now have an object that we lofted in three different, well, three dimensions, really, like the sketches were in three dimensions, because, uh, you know, it goes up, right, you know, left, right, up and down, and everything like that. So, basically, the whole point of this is to show that you're not really constrained by having to make a lot of, like, loft points or anything, and, y and you can use a guideline that may be a little bit atypical, make a, a bunch of different turns. We could have easily drawn again from down here and just made it symmetric and then like made one whole connecting thing but I just wanted to demonstrate that it is possible for you to draw a or a, to loft when you have two different sketches that uh, are not actually connected so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe comment down below what you'd like to see next and we'll see you in the next video